Oh, I want to be loved for you. You are not my You are my You are God. You are God. You are God. You are You are here because God wants to visit you. Amen. Excuse me, all that this all the year will nothing just happen ordinarily. Mm -mm. You are not sitting down because you've got nothing to do. You are here because the Lord has something to do for you. So we are going to look because excuse me, God has been visiting and he's still in the business. Is your house ready? Yes. Is your house ready? Yes. In Jesus or just rang you ring bell now with you. Yes. Will you say no? Let me quickly tie it up. Let me quickly put perfume. Which one will you choose? We are ready. Uh, all of the above. We are all ready. Very ready. Please get ready. Amen. It's going around. Amen. We want to look during the days of our Lord Jesus Christ. You know, Jesus Christ, he was once like human being. If you don't have desire to travel to Jerusalem, put it in your Christian race. It's it worth it. It what? It worth it to see. Where Jesus Christ, when he was in the flesh, walk where he walk. Glory be to God. Yeah. When we were in that, uh, in that uh, sea of Galilee, we began to sing, I love that man. I love oh that God. man. Oh. Of Galilee. Oh God. Galilee. Oh. For he has done so very much for me. He has forgiven me all my sins. Holy Ghost to me. I love that man of Galilee. This man of Galilee, he wants to be loved. He's so good. When we were sailing on that sea of Galilee, we can feel the presence. Yes. I can see the people, they were lying flat on the, on the, boats, on the, on the boats. You can see the presence hmm. of God. God is so good. Yes. And thank God for the, for the sailor, the man that drew the pilot. He was an Hebrew man. Daniel. He, Daniel, he took the microphone and he also taught us a song in Hebrew. He taught us to say Yado. Am I correct? Yes. Yado. 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 Adonai. Adonai. Yes. He taught us and we began to say it was so wonderful. Awesome. It why wow, am I saying it? As be, since I've been in this country, I said God 24 years. I said, God, thank God for bringing me here. I the passion to just go there. And I thank God that God make it come to pass. Amen. And I know the next time we are all going together in the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. Hey, Pastor, it's possible. Yes. What did I say? It's possible. 
Bible. If, if God can make it possible for me, yes. it's still a miracle. Yes. See, there's nothing God can do. Hello? Aye. With him, all things are possible. Yes. Yes. He's able. Yes. He's word. Yes. I share these people Come when they call you me JP, JP. Actually, it's not the title of their mother. But walk where the anointed one walk. Hello? See, enter the beast. It, it has been a great, you know. I've been praying, praying, praying. But I thank God that this year, the Lord in his mercy, not because I have the money, but he made it, he made it provided that God doesn't help us to sponsor. I give God the glory for what he has Amen. done. And I know next time we are all together Amen. to the glory. Amen. I say to the glory of Amen. God. Amen. God will make a way for you. Amen. God will strengthen you. Amen. God will provide for you. Amen. God will favor you. Amen. As your pastor, I just advise to want to desire to be there. Hallelujah. Amen. Where I'm going to talk about the man of Galilee, his name is Jesus. Hallelujah. He's so loving. And one thing I'm praying to God since we came, I said, God, help me to be simple. There's nothing I've been anointed that being simple. That people can get along with you. That you are so simple that nobody can step on your toe. Before they step on oh, sorry. He's the one that step on my toes. And I was, ah, brother, oh, sorry. Most time people will look at you, ah, this, this can only be wonder. I say, God, if Jesus can be, I when I look at his life, I say, hey, hey. It gets with time, it looks like Africa. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like when we were passing the way of the cross, you see the way. Yeah, it's as if I'm just in. It's so simple. And the people there can drive a little bit rough, isn't it? But glory be to God in the highest. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Jesus! He is in the habit to visit his people. Amen. Tonight, can I pray for you? Amen. Jesus will visit you. Amen. You know, when he visits you, he has joy to your joy. Amen. He has favor to your Amen. He has testimony to your yes. He has honor to your honor. Amen. Can I pray for you again? Yes. Yes. Because you are here this evening, yes. Jesus will visit you. Amen. In all the areas of your life, he will visit you. Amen. In your dream, he will visit you. At home, he will visit you. In your marriage, he will visit you. He will put things around you. God. See, he does things in his own way. I want to show you what happened with Jesus Christ. Many times we read in the Bible, we deliberately visit Mary and Martha. And he visited also uh, Peter. The Bible talks, spoke about Peter's mother-in-law was sick of fever. When Jesus entered the house, hey, Jesus will enter your booty. This and those of us that we are Christian, enter your rest. Amen. Don't put anything on your head. Put it down. Amen. You see, this Jesus that you have is enough. Mm. Hello? Hi. This Jesus that what? Is enough. It's enough to solve the problem. Yes. Is it? That's why he said, he said, come on to come. All you who are labor. Do you know we're in this world of labor. Uh. Labor force. Mm. Six o'clock we wake. Mm. Five o'clock we wake. Mm -hmm. We run, run, run. After pay the rest, not the rest, not the rest, not people are still saying, hey, and next, next tomorrow we will also run. Jesus, come, those of us that we are labor and are heavy. Can I have the fact? Don't be heavy, lady. No matter what is going on around you in your life, don't let it enter your spirit, man. Say to yourself, well, if I fall down, my eyes will be. That's why the book of Psalms says, I will lift up my eyes to the hills. Then yes, because your eyes, where your eyes is lifted, determine where your help will come from. Please let, don't allow it. To let you tell me you can't make it. You can make it. Amen. I say you will make it. Amen. I say you will succeed. Amen. Your joy will increase. Amen. Your favor will increase. Amen. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. See, Jesus Christ, He has a way of doing His own things. Cause people make your life available for Him. He can choose to visit you now. He can choose when you are inside the train, the bus to come. He can choose when you are on your way to work to come. One thing I am here to tell you, we serve God that can never fail. When I came back from this trip, I love him so much. And I began to, God, help me to be so simple, so simple. And guide me in making choice. Because if I were Jesus, that kind of river I cannot, as a son of God, ah, as the son of the most high God to enter that kind of river uh, can I tell you the truth I will not then I realize every believer you need to make a right choice 
So let's go to the book of John chapter 5. We are going to look at God's visitation. He said in the visitation of his people. It's my prayer tonight that there will be a divine visitation over your destiny. Yeah. There are people sitting on your end. Your condition of your head, God need to face it. There are some people in your career, God need to face it. There are some of us in our legal, legal state. You need God. There are some of us we need to make some decision that determines our life because our life is a series of decisions. From day one to the end, we will be making decision. In decision making, God will not force you and me. But guess what? We are afraid to make decisions. But the consequences of our decision, that one you can't choose. You guess what? That's why we that's why we call it that your decision making, you get to be very, very careful. Well, because you can choose to fix it too. And I'm I'm telling you tonight that this God is so loving. He cannot fix it you and your life remain the same. That's it. Yes. When he fix it you, hello, what you call shame become testimony. When he fits it to you, what when you thought there is no hope? When people say we will see, oh, we will see. Guess what? Hey, when the master fits, guess what? He will tear away the rubber of shame and we crown you with glory and honor. In every area of your life, don't just risk it, expect its visitation. Amen. Say, God, I am ready. Amen. Even in your dream, you will fix it too. And please receive him and enjoy his presence. John chapter 5. I'm going to read from verses 2 to 9, and we will quickly enter these hours of prayer. Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue, Bethsaida, having five portions. In this lay a great multitude of important folk, of blind, out, without, waiting for the moving of the world. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. Whosoever then first appeared, the troubling of the water, step in, was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. And a certain man was there, which had an infirmity thirty and eight years. When Jesus saw him and knew that he had been now a long time in that case, he said unto him, With how be made whole. The important man answered him, Sir, I have no man where the water is troubled to put me into the pool, but where I am coming, another steps down before me. Jesus said unto him, Rise, take up thy bed, and walk. First night, which is the last verse. And immediately the man was made old. Somebody say, And immediately. And immediately. Expect that and immediately, and immediately, that's good. The man was made old and took up his bed and walked. And on the same day was the Sabbath. Hallelujah! May the Lord bless the reading of His word in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The situation we read here is a situation that happened at Jerusalem. We call Jerusalem the city of the great king. And what happened? The Bible let us know the water called Bethsaida. This is the water we had the tall guy when we were going that we want to see that water. We had that the water is dry now. The water, we got it's a special water. During the day of Jesus, it was a streams of water. We got we have a dialogue with the tall guy that that water of the cider. We want to go there. And it's a Hebrew man. He said, No, no, no. During the day of Jesus, it was a special water that was flowing. It's a place like this. Billions of times 10 of this big, the water is flowing. This is special water that God has designed that whosoever enter into that water first will be. What does that mean? Hello? Because every one of us, we want to be, we want to be made whole. Yes. A lot of us, legally, we are sick. We need help. You will be made whole. Amen. Some of us spiritually, some people maritally, some people in one way, some people financially, some people in the career wise, they are sick. Can I tell you, the Lord will make you whole in the name of Jesus. Amen. Christ. Now let us look at it one after the other. The Bible let us know that during the day of Jesus, that pool is a representative of God's kingdom. The pool of water. Do you know that time is coming? Church, our power is the blood. Somebody say the blood. the blood. I'm talking about the pool. There is a pool in our generation now. But it's a pity in our generation. The, the, the real pool has been a rejected stone now. 
the pool. If you go in that pool, that pool has a special power to heal. That pool has a special power to deliver. That pool has a special power to refine the irreversible. That pool has a special power to make every cook way straight. That pool is the kingdom of Jesus. Is the pride of Jesus. That pool is the church. Because in the pool, there's a special element. The Bible said the God used to send angel inside inside the pool. God also has things he sent to the church. His blood is for the church. His name is for the church. His word is for the church. His grace is for the church. His salary is for the church. And what happened? Let's go now today. And thank God. Can I congratulate you? You are already in the pool. Yeah. Yeah. I, said, I said, because you can't be in Christ and live in crisis. I said, you are already in the pool. Hallelujah. You will be made whole. Amen. I said, you will be made whole. Yeah. Say, my life. My life. You are the first of the Lord. Yeah. Spiritually, yeah. emotionally, yeah. psychologically, yeah. maritally, yeah. legally, yeah. financially, yeah. receive healing, yeah. receive orders. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, yeah. and put it for the man. Yeah. Let's quickly, just a few minutes to look at what is this situation here. In this pool, the name of this pool is called Bethsaida. The name of this pool is called Bethsaida. Bethsaida. We won't go to the spiritual implication of the. Let's go. Beth, let's look at Bethsaida in our generation now. It means the place where God has chosen to put his name. It means a place where God has chosen to put his name. You know, it's God. We can pray at home and receive what we want. But, you know, there are different levels of prayer. The Bible says you can go inside your own, close your door. Where in secret to the Lord, your father who sees in secret will be one you open it. He get to another level. He says, look, after you have done that, there are some blessings for the home. But he said, you get to level. He said, where to or three? And that is the body. He said, where two or three are gathered in his his name, those are the angels he has sent to the church. Those who are gathered in his name, just as we are gathered in his name, and he promised he will want, he will be there. It was the presence of God in that water that made the healing. It is the presence of God, the pool in the kingdom of heaven, the church that Jesus Christ has bought with his blood. What happened with this man? And then we say in verse 2, they say that this bedside at the pool, it has how many portions? It has a portions is like a door. Entrance. It has how many? Five. Five entrance. Do you look, do you can do you all have understanding of entrances to the kingdom of God? Do you know that we have five-fold ministry? We are five. We are five fold in theology. They are more than that, but the middle that book of Ephesians spoke to us. We write about the fivefold madness. Do you know that every one of us, none of us is empty. You belong to one. As to you discard it or not, that's another one. Every one of us, we got access to pass through one portion or to the other. Importantly, enter into the pool. And you know, in our generation, the time of grace, the book of James said, look. When you want to enter into the pool, it is what you do that determines who you are. He said, look, can you show me your work, your faith without work? He said, no, I will show you I am inside the pool because of the work I am doing. And the book of James says, without evidence of what you are doing, your faith is dead. I can pray. I can bet you are doing nothing. God said, your faith is what? In another world, to enter the pool, you enter through the fivefold ministry. That's why when you are in the pool, don't be hindu, don't be idle. Do something in there. Pass through because that pool only have only how many? Right, right. So you say that you are a pastor, let's say together, or teachers, prophets, evangelists, and let's say the five push, let's say it again. Pastors, prophets, teachers, Apostle, evangelist. evangelist. Can you say with me, my portion? My portion. Shine. Shine. Do like this, my portion. My portion. My portion. Yes. So enter my pool. Yes. Activate you now. Yes. 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 People of God, without passing through the five portions, you cannot enter. Hello? Somebody can stand. Why? Because God has 
a mandate. What it does to this place, the amount of river pool in Jerusalem. But God has just this one to where he will send his angel to reveal it. What the angel does is to pour the water. And those five doors, whosoever come in as a prophet, function in the office of a prophet, come in as a teacher, function in the office of a teacher, actively in the, in the office of an evangelist, and so on and so forth. Those who are already in the pool, when the enemy come, guess what? Do you know that when you are active in the pool, there are some prayers you don't pray? Many people are praying some prayer because in the kingdom they are not acting the way they need to act. Because inside that pool, title does not matter. Inside that pool, how old you are, somebody say it does not matter. Because inside that pool, I am a mature Christian, it does not matter. What matter is how do you call me? Because when you try any other ways, out of the pool, out of the bushes, you will find yourself outside. You will see yourself in the, in, in the other side of the, of, the, of, the, of, the, of the pool. It is important. Activating the gifting. You want to enjoy the power of God in the pool. Hello? Activate the gift. Ask yourself. Many people in the church are under functioning. You know under functioning? No, I said, do you know under functioning? You know, somebody like me, you know I can preach. And I can pray. But I just choose to pray. And I choose to pray for myself alone. And I go home. Am I, is it not good? Huh? But heaven will not forgive me. Because there's a prayer in me to pray for this nation every day. There's a prayer in me to pray for men and women every day. There's a prayer in me to pray for people in the prison. But if I under functioning, it's also what in that the move of God in your life. What I'm saying is for you to enjoy God's power in the pool. Active functioning. Ask God to reveal yourself to you. Somebody say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. receive my fullness to me. Receive my fullness. Lord, Jesus, Lord Jesus, reveal my fullness, my fullness to, me. to me. Can I tell you something? You have fullness. You have grace inside of you. Hello? I say you have grace. You have something you can do to make it work. It does not work because it's not been what you're supposed to do. Any power that has been hindering your move, any power that has, that has not allowed your head to be lifted, I waste those power. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's move forward a little bit more. We've got all five more minutes. We jump so we can use more time to pray. We are afraid about the angel that went down at a certain season. Take note of the season. Season. See, see, that's why the Bible says we should pray and do not give up because you don't know when God will choose. On where is here? On Friday is sharing the water. Wednesday is sharing the water. Sunday is sharing the water. And you see, in the business of sharing the water, the Bible now says what happened? The rule of the king.